Hello, in this lecture we will define accounts payable ledger. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles, Wild 22nd Edition, the definition of accounts payable ledger is subsidiary ledger listing individual creditor supplier accounts. So the accounts payable ledger can be thought of as a backup to the amount that would be on the balance sheet or the trial balance in the accounts payable account, that account representing what is owed to third party vendors. So a common question from the boss might be, how much money do we owe to our vendors? We could then look at the accounts payable and say, this is how much we owe. The next question usually will be, who do we owe? <laughs> and when do we need to pay them? And who do we need to pay first? In order to do that, we cannot go to the normal source where we go to to back up the information, which is the general ledger. It'll be in order by date. We need it in order by vendor. So that's what we're going to do here. For example, if we had our trial balance amount here and our boss asked, how much money do we owe our vendors? We can look here on the balance sheet or the trial balance and say we owe 1640 If the question then is, well, who do we owe? When are they due? How, when do we have to pay this? Who should we pay first? If we go to the normal place that we go to for the backup, the data in terms of any of the accounts, the general ledger, it gives us detail, but not the detail we're looking for. It gives us the detail. This is the order of the transactions, the date order of the transactions, telling us the story behind this 1640, but not in the way that we want. We want to see it by, uh, by vendor in this case. Who do we owe? The people that we actually owe. So we might owe like Office Depot. We might owe Ann's Food. We might owe Al's Auto. And that would then add up to the total. This then we can then decide, okay, who do we owe? When, who are we going to pay? How, who are we actually going to write the check to? We need to see this same information, the same 1640 by vendor. That's what the subsidiary ledger will do.